Hello, my name is Chris Borbohm, and with this short video clip, what I want to do is talk about growth staging corn, uh, especially how it relates to herbicide and herbicide applications, and ultimately the crop safety of the corn. So, the area that we're in right here has corn that's just been seeded uh, about a week ago, and it has just emerged. And what I'd like to point out on this small corn is first how we're going to stage corn. We talk about the V stages of corn and I'd like to point those out on this corn seedling. So as the corn seedling emerges there is the cotyledon which really doesn't emerge much out of the soil. So this is actually the seed leaf. The first leaf that we're looking at here on the corn plant is actually a true leaf. And so we want to count this leaf. The thing that we'll notice about the first leaf is it has a very rounded leaf tip. All the other leaves after that are going to have a, a pointed leaf tip. And with this corn, this leaf has emerged just far enough that we can see the collar on the seedling. And the collar is this region right where the leaf blade meets, meets the sheath of the leaf which wraps around the stem. And so this seedling is a V1 or one collar corn seedling. And then this second leaf that's emerging, we're not going to count that yet until the collar for that leaf emerges. And next we'll go to a slightly larger corn field and we'll look at V2 corn in that field. Okay, now we'll look at some corn that's a little bit bigger so we can look at the uh, leaf collar a little bit easier. On this corn, we're looking at some uh, corn seedlings that are at the V3 stage. You can see our first leaf here. We count this leaf. It has a rounded leaf tip, so we know it's the first leaf. And then we have the collar where the leaf blade joins to the sheath of the plant and that area where it is the, the junction is called the collar. So our first leaf, the first collar, and that would be uh, corn seedling in the V1 stage. But as we go up the seedling here, our second leaf, we'll notice that it has a pointed leaf tip and then we can see the collar where the leaf blade joins the sheath here. So this is the second collar on this seedling, the third leaf, and the third collar right here. So this seedling and these seedlings in the field here would be considered at the V3 stage. The fourth leaf here, we can certainly see it coming up out of the world, but we're not going to count it yet until its collar pushes past the third collar. So even though we have the fourth leaf here and it's fairly large, we're not going to count it. A lot of times we talk about crop safety with corn herbicides and we're worried about the corn not getting too big. There are a couple herbicides where the corn needs to be big enough to tolerate the herbicide. For instance, the status herbicide label or the North Star herbicide label calls for corn to be at least uh, four inches tall before it's sprayed or uh, the two collar stage. So this corn is three collar, uh, certainly tall enough to be sprayed with those herbicides. And here this three collar corn is probably about seven or eight inches tall. We're going to measure the height of the corn based on uh, where that leaf kind of starts to arch over. And in this case, we're probably about that seven inch uh, height on the corn. So those would be the two main ways that we would uh, stage corn either by the number of collars, which is the same as the V stage, standing for vegetative stage, or the height of the corn. And a lot of the corn herbicide labels have switched to the V stage or a collar stage uh, to de determine crop safety. Next we'll move on to corn that's a little bit bigger and we'll take a look at some V6 corn. Okay, I actually said we were going to look at some V6 corn. We're actually going to look at some V5 corn here. 
In staging larger corn, it's done the same way as earlier on. We want to find the first leaf, and the challenge sometimes uh, with larger corn is the first leaves may start to slough off, but in this case we can still find the first leaf. So that's our first leaf, and the first collar, second collar, third collar, fourth collar, and fifth collar on this leaf right here. The sixth leaf, the collar is still down in the sheath, so we're not going to call that or consider that uh, as a full leaf at this time. So this corn plant right here right now is a V5 or five collared uh, corn plant. With several of the herbicides, once this sixth leaf comes out, then we're actually reaching uh, the maximum time when we can apply a number of the herbicides like accent, option, etc. We can also measure the height of this corn and we're at about 17 inches with this. Some of the uh, herbicide labels might say the herbicide needs to be applied before 20 inches or through the V6 stage. So we would still be able to treat this corn plant uh, under those conditions. I also have a V7 corn plant here and we can count the collars here. The first collar, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh collar. So with some of those herbicides that say that we can treat through the V7 or V6 stage, um, if we treated this corn plant, we might have the risk of causing some damage because even on this corn uh, plant at this time, the corn is already starting to initiate the corn ears and we might end up with pinched ears uh, as they develop later in the summer because of some of the stress that we put on the corn plant at this time. Other herbicides uh, like glyphosate for instance talk about uh, the maximum growth stage of V8 when we can uh, treat that corn. So we'd still be able to treat corn this size and even as this next leaf uh, pushes its collar past this one we would still be able to treat that as well. So hopefully with a few basics of knowing what a collar is and being able to count collars, knowing which leaf to start with, this first true leaf with the rounded tip, count that one, you should be able to stage your corn and make safe herbicide applications.